The following video may contain sensitive topics. The views and opinions of the presenter to these are plainly his own. Furthermore, any and all views and opinions of the presenter do not in any way reflect the views, opinions, statements, and advocacies of his personal contacts, his family, his affiliations, and his profession. While the presenter makes a commitment that all content is original, he is obliged to cite references or acknowledge resources mentioned or used in the production of this video. This disclaimer is also written in the description below. <laughs> Dear Koreans, I'm not sure if this gets it translated to your language, but the apparent racism some of your people have uttered to my people, in general, is just too much. We as a people admit that we have been culturally enslaved by whatever is trending in the world today. And unfortunately, it includes your culture. But not all fall to that trap. Not everyone listens to your music myself included and so your people have no right to call our people names but on the flip side of things we also admit with utter shame that we have our own bouts of racism calling people of indian descent mumbai or five six black people as egoi or the n-word banned by the algorithm gods people of chinese descent chekwa though rightfully so to mainlanders Taiwanese, Hong Kongers, Chinese Singaporeans, and Filipinos of Chinese descent who are more Filipino than Chinese are targeted as well. And I fear that many of our people would call your people krung krung. You know, the endearing term we called Sandara Park prior to her K-pop career uh, with 21 and beyond. And so, as much as your people have no right to call our names, so do we. I'm sure Dara is upset that her own folk would insult the people, the very people, who helped her jumpstart her K-pop career. I mean, seriously. Do we all have to be racists? But, to give you some perspective, your people, I understand, were like us back then. Ravaged by war in the 1940s, no thanks to Imperial Japan, and rightfully so. And yet, our ancestors were sent to aid you against the encroachment of our now common enemy, who 70 years on is still aiming for dominance in the region. In our region. Sure enough, you remember that your nation was born out of war. Do you still remember the spring offensive and the battle that took place on that chilly April morning in 1951? Our ancestors were outnumbered, outgunned, outflanked, and left for dead. Every single non-combatant soldier of our contingent were forced to drop what they're doing, grab a rifle, and head to the front. For hours, our ancestors fought for a people not their own. Yet they do this not only because they were ordered to do so, but also because they all want to bring home stories to tell on how a certain ideology brainwashed your northern neighbors. Hey, brothers, they fought with their bullets, with their bayonets, even with their bare hands. And yet, at the end of it all, as the dust and mist settle, our ancestors stood their ground. And on their feet lay thousands upon thousands of dead enemies. But 40 of our ancestors fell that day, and 14 others went missing, presumed captured, or even dead. That is what happened in Yultong almost 60 years ago. Though our two countries' fortunes may have turned since then, I should emphasize that our ancestors paid a hefty share of the price of your freedom and self-rule. Sure. We made a fool out of ourselves since then and history will be our judge. But that truth remains. I have been trying all my life not to be like most of our people when faced with insults like these. When most of our people retaliate, I turn the other cheek. It is my only hope that most of, you, most of your people would realize soon enough that not all of you are racists. As our people accuse you of because 
I don't believe all of you are. At least, not the most sensible of Koreans who know their history very well. P.S. To my fellow Filipinos, parang awa nyo na, real talk. Get your bloody shit together. Umayos kayo para hindi tayo pagtawanan. At parang awa nyo na rin. Huwag kayo masyado magpa-apekto sa ganito. Kasi una sa lahat, may katotohanan. At ikalawa, parang awa nyo na. Tigil-tigilan nyo ang pagta-Twitter at TikTok nyo. Okay? Tangin na. Kaya ayaw mag-comment sa ganitong mga bagay. Anyway, yan out.